Today we're looking at George Lois, a legend in the field of advertising and magazine design. Part of the creative team at Doyle Dane Burnback that began revolutionizing the creative nature of advertising in the 1950s, he launched his own agency in the early 60s. From 62 to 72, he was also art director of Esquire magazine. His decade of cover designs produced a number of stunning images that became enduring icons of American culture. This year, those covers were honored with their own exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art. Uh, you, uh, yeah. Your book looks back at some of your big ideas and, and where they came from. Yeah. Did anything surprise you when you went back to try to remember? Oh, oh I was I shocked. That? Oh, no, I mean, I, I always wanted to do a book that, that tried to explain to young people, or to anybody in a creative uh, uh, you know, area, that nothing comes, it doesn't, all come, it doesn't come out of, it's not a lightning bolt out of, out of the blue. It's not, uh, you know, you're a, a genius, you know, it's not, uh, it, what it is, it's an understanding of 5,000 years of art, understanding 5,000 years of human civilization, understanding film, understanding, understanding, uh, you know, the great movies, understanding the comics, understanding uh, uh, ballet, understand, and having that kind of a full rounded, and when I talk to young students, anybody been to the Met Town Museum in the last year? How about the Museum of Modern Art? One, one, it's frightening, you know. I mean, it's just frightening, you know. So I've always wanted to do a, a, a book from a guy who is acknowledged as a great graphic designer, a great graphic thinker, a great would have the idea to. I, I want to always, I wanted to do a book that said it, it, it didn't come out of the blue. It came out of my experience. It came out of my deep love for literature. It came out of my deep love for this, you know. And and, and I think it's an important book because of that. When I started to work on the book, and I looked at some things, and I looked at some of the t things I thought were terrific, I said, now where the hell did I get that from? And sometimes it was obvious, and sometimes I had to dug, dig a little bit, and sometimes I was shocked where I, I was shocked where it came from, because it doesn't come out of nowhere. You know, you know, I did a I did a cover, you know, with the Andy Warhol drowning in a can of gigantic soup, and, it, and I said, where did I get that from? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I had the idea, but where did I get? And I remember one of the, one of the scenes, uh, uh, one in a, in a Hitchcock film in North by Northwest, when Cary Grant and uh, you know, and um, that wonderful actress, uh, yeah, the blonde, terrific, uh, on the nose or on the on the on Mount Rushmore, and they were against this gigantic, these gigantic heads, and they're walking along. I mean, it, that's where it comes from. Because I remember being blown away when I was a young kid and I saw that and I went, whoa. I remember being blown away by certain scenes. I remember being blown away by Fellini, uh, you know, the, the, the opening of um, the opening of La Dolce Vita, you know, and he wants to set the stage and talk about, somehow set the stage and, and talk about Rome being a sin city. And he has a helicopter, a modern helicopter flying above Rome and dangling from it. It's carrying a statue of Christ somewhere. You know, to, to, you know, transporting it. But what an image! It it it, it, it flying over the the, the, the city, uh, the, the sin city, and and Christ is looking down. You know, on top of the, I mean, those are the things that just are incredible. And, and I have 500 of those in my head, and it all comes from that somehow. The DNA is there. You know. Uh, and the teaching is to go to a library, to go to the, to go to the museums, to go to the, to the old black and white movies. Yes, kids today, what's your favorite movie? You know, the favorite movie, their favorite movie is Star Wars. Uh, have you ever seen Expo Winston? No. Have you ever seen Grapes of Earth? No. Have you ever seen the, 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 Wow! I say, God, I wish I were you. Why? I wish I was you and I didn't have, I hadn't seen those 100 great black and white films. And I could experience them again, for, and experience them for the first time. You don't know the thrill you got, you know. So, so that's what I'm trying to do with the book, and I hopefully it'll get to at least get to instructors and teachers. For that, a couple of people were here a couple just now, and they're talking about how they try to inspire the kids with my work. And I'm saying, well, make this is the book that this is the book that should do it. This is the book they got to look into it, and it's got to make them say. I gotta expand my knowledge. I gotta expand my experience. You know, I gotta expand my passion for all things. This is the Worthos Forum, and we approve this message.